This video is to introduce the language for Chinese Made Easy Lesson 12. How do we say the word born? Chu sheng. How do we say which year were you born? We would say, Ni shi na nian chu sheng de. Here the word na is which. So how do we say where? Nar. So the word which becomes where if you add an R sound. How did we say where do you live? Ni zhu zai nar. How would we say where were you born? Ni zai nar chu sheng. Now the word order is different. You see in these two sentences, ni zhu zai nar, the zai nar comes at the end. But in the sentence ni zai nar chu sheng, the word zai nar comes right after the subject. This sentence is actually more normal. Usually the zai nar and the place comes before the verb, right after the subject. Uh, this sentence ni zhu zai nar is an exception where we say you live where. Don't worry about memorizing that. We're going to practice this a lot and it'll become second nature. So here's a map of Marvel origins. I'd like you to make me three sentences about where people are from or where they were born. So you could say, Magneto, Zai, De Guo, Chu Sheng. Magneto was born in Germany. Magneto, Zai, De Guo. Chu Sheng. So go ahead and choose three people and say what countries they were born in. How would we say a lot of places if the word for places is Di Fang? Hen Duo Di Fang. A lot of places. How would we say I have been to a lot of places? How would we change the verb to make it, I have lived in many places? Since difang means places, another way we could ask where would be to ask what place. How would we just say the two words, what place? So then using that, how could we ask, where do you live? Instead of using the words nar, we would use or just So here's a picture of a kid growing up. You can see he was born here, and then when he was a toddler, he lived in Arizona, and then as he got older, he moved to Maine, and then he moved to Ohio as he got older, and then he lived in Alaska for his preteen years, and then Texas, and then Colorado, and then he went to college in Florida, and now he's an adult in Montana, or excuse me, in Idaho. So I could ask, Ta Ju Shamadifang, oh excuse me, Ta Zai Shamadifang, Chu Sheng Ta Ju Guo, Jia Zhou Ma Ta Zai Shamadifang, Shang Da Xue Ta Ju Guo, Hua Sheng Dun Ma Ta Xian Zai Zhu Zai Nar How would we say a lot of places in the US? It's backwards from English. 
美国很多地方 America many places. So then, how would we say many places in China? 中国很多地方 You run into a pair work activity where、uh, we may do it alone if school is、uh, we have a half day. So what you're going to do is let me pause the recording for just a second. Ah,、uh, well, let me. Put, oh, yeah, here. So you'll go to this. How many have been to many places in? And you record yourself on the screen making sentences based on the pictures. Use the sentence "ta chu guo place han duo di fang." So here's their luggage, and you can see they've been to Russia and Germany and Ireland, the United Kingdom. So these are all places in Europe. So you're going to say. 他去过欧洲很多地方 and you'll do the same with each of the pictures. Here's Uganda, so it must be Fejo, and so on, and you'll figure it out. And then it changes to places in America. And so, if you can't remember how to say the states in Chinese, you're welcome to say 他去过新泽西很多啊，他去过 New Jersey 很多地方。Another word you need to know for this lesson is "xian zai," which means "right now." In Chinese, the word order is subject, time, verb, object, or "stevo." This is really important, so I'm going to emphasize it. Stevo, like Steve. Stevo, like Steve. Stevo, like Steve Carell. Stevo. Steve. 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 The best Steve. Stevo, subject, time, verb, object. So to say, I live in China now, we would say, 我现在住在中国 and the time comes right after the subject and before the verb phrase. 我现在住在中国 To practice this, you're going to do a kahoot. In this kahoot, you're going to drag and drop the pieces to make the sentences. So, for example, she lives in France now. You would assemble "ta xian zai zhu zai fa guo," drag and drop on your phone. 